greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Are we happy to be in the house of God this morning? Hallelujah. Can I see happy faces this morning? Hallelujah. Let's raise our hands. Let's wave our hands in the air. Thank you, Jesus. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He has given Jesus Christ His Son. And now let the weak say I'm strong. And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I'm rich. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. And now let the weak say, I'm strong. Hallelujah. Because of what the Lord has done for us, give thanks. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy Because is given Jesus Christ is a give thanks, give thanks to the Holy One with a grateful heart. Oh, give thanks to the Holy One, to the Holy Give thanks, give thanks because is and Jesus Christ is Son. And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done. Because of what? Lord has done for us. Give thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Brother Prince can come and open the door of prayer. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Jesus Christ, this morning, Lord. For we have come, Lord Jesus Christ, in your house, Lord. For we know that it is good to be in your house, Lord Jesus Christ. For, Lord, we thank you so much for the grace and mercy that you've given us today, Lord. May you, Father, bless each and every heart, Lord, which have come here today, Lord. May you give them their heart's desire, Father. For, Lord, we have come here, Father, with an expectation, Father, Lord Jesus Christ. May your power and the glory, Father, come down, Father, and fill each and every heart, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, we know that when we go out, 
Oh, Father, to our homes, Lord, we knowing that we are in the house of the Lord, Lord. Father, may you bless us, Father. May you start with us, Father. May you bless the song leader, Father. May he lead us, Father, Lord, in spirit, Lord. As David was singing, Father, he was singing in spirit, Lord. May you inspired him and anoint him also. Father, we also pray for the preacher who is going to preach, Father. May you, Father, anoint him too, Lord. Father, we thank you, Father. Give grace and mercy in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's put our hands together. Amen. Let's raise on our feet and sing one day at a time. Give us that song. Hallelujah. I'm only human. I'm just a man. Amen. I'm only human. Hallelujah. That's a higher key. I'm only human. I'm just a man. Help me believe in what I could be and all that I am. Show me the stairway. That I have to climb. That I have to climb. Lord, for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus, that's all. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday is gone. Oh, yesterday is gone, sweet Jesus. And tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today. Do you remember when you walked amongst men? When you walked amongst men, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, you know if you look here below, it's worse than now. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Oh, pushing and shoving, violence and crime is everywhere. Violence and crime But Lord for my sake Teach me to take one day at a time Hallelujah One day at a time Sweet Jesus That's all I'm asking from you Just give me the strength Lord me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday is gone, yesterday is gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Hallelujah, Lord, help me today. Show me the way one day. Oh, I'm asking from you, Lord. Nothing more, nothing less. Hallelujah. Just give me the strength. The strength to do what I have to do. Yesterday is gone. Yesterday is gone. Oh, sweet Jesus. And tomorrow may never Hallelujah. Lord, help me today. Show me the way. One day at a time. Oh, yesterday is gone. Yesterday is gone. Sweet Jesus. And tomorrow may never be mine. Lord, help me today.
Alleluia. Let's take our seats. Amen. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Ruth Matiza to come and bless us. Then Sister Jubilee. Uh, then Brother and Sister Chawana. Then uh, if we have more time, we can ask her one more. Amen. But for now, let's have uh, Sister Ruth. Then Sister Jubilee. Then Brother and Sister Chawana. Amen. Let's put our hands together as they come. God bless you, saints. Hallelujah. I'm to sing after all this life is over. Okay. Trials here sometimes many. And of signs my feet grow weary Till it seems I almost stumble and fall But the tender hand that leads me Is the hand that keeps me steady Gives me faith that I can make it after all In the wonderful name of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. As the world looks upon us, as we struggle alone, they say we have nothing, but they are so wrong. In my heart, I'm rejoicing. How I wish they could see. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. I have a roof up above me. I have a good place to see. The 
Shalom saints. Muri 
Hallelujah. Amen. Let's put our hands together for our singers. They sing so well. <clears throat> Let's stand on our feet. I surrender all. I surrender. Surrender I 
Blessed Lord, we thank you once again this morning to approach your presence, that great August presence, the omnipotent God, the almighty God. How grateful we are for the privilege, the honor that has been bestowed upon us. Lord, until one of the apostles said, what manner of love has the Father bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God? Father, sometimes we don't just realize, Lord God, what it is to be called a son of God. We might not be anything else as far as this world is concerned, but just to have this title bestowed upon us. Oh God, it's something that's so wonderful this morning. Thank you for each and every one that has come today. Father, to fellowship, Lord God, with each other, to fellowship with our brothers and sisters. We could hardly wait until them doors open, Lord, that we would be able to once again, Lord God, meet with our fellow citizens, to meet with our brothers and our sisters. And Lord, we are here now. And Father God, and greatest of all, we are expecting to meet with you. Lord God, we're expecting to be in contact with you today that, Lord, may you reach each and every one today. You know the various needs that we have. You know the cases that are amongst us. Lord, some difficult, some complicated, all kinds of things that might be happening within our circumstances, Lord. Father, this morning we ask that the Holy Spirit will come and help us in our faith today to be able to believe that the Lord he is able. Sometimes, Lord, we become so engrossed. Sometimes we become so overwhelmed. It's as though we are submerged. It's as though we are sinking. But Lord, we cry out like Peter who said uh, he was overwhelmed by the, by the waves. He said, Lord, save me. Lord, that is our cry today. Lord, whatever the condition, whatever the case, Heavenly Father, whatever the challenges, whatever the symptoms, whatever, Lord, the, the, the controversies, Lord, it could be the wind blowing against us and waves, but Lord, we, we pray that, Lord, lead us to the rock that is higher than I this morning. Lord, where we can, hallelujah, be over and above the circumstance. Bless your people this morning, Lord. Minister to every need. Lord, if there's any that don't know you here today, Lord God, or some that might still be in doubts and confusion, Lord, or somebody backslidden, whatever the case may be, Lord, we pray for the soul of that person. We pray that the hand of God will, oh God, will just reach down and Lord, bring them out up of the miry clay. May you set their feet upon the rock to stay. Lord, just bless us this morning as we wait upon you. And help me, Lord, for the next couple of moments as I stand here, Lord, just take me to one side. Lord, may there be no man left save Jesus only. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. May we see the glorified Christ manifested amongst us, Lord. Oh, may the Holy Ghost have the right of way. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. Come and take, let this be your service, Lord. We commit all these things into your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory. You may take your seat. 
Amen. Uh, greetings to you all. Amen. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We are once again thankful to be here today and uh, thanking God for the wonderful time of worship and the praise to his holy name. He deserves all of our praise. Amen. Also want to appreciate the wonderful songs, the specials that have been sung. Amen. We really appreciate that. And also this morning, I would like to welcome, amen, uh, one of the daughters of my late uh, brother who is here with us today. Amen. She's visiting with uh, family members. Amen. So, uh, we're happy to have her. Her name is Marion. Amen. Marion Gardner. If you can stand up, Marion, where you are. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So good to have you with us uh, this morning. Pray that uh, the Lord will bless you. Amen. She's called Marion. She was named after my mom. My mom's name was Marion. So... Uh, Amen. That name is passed on to her. So we really appreciate that. Amen. And also I would like to welcome a brother and his wife, his family that is here with us today. And he called me a few days ago and uh, with uh, the expectation to be gathered with us this morning. And um, brother, if you don't mind, I could mention your name. And uh, Brother Milanzi, Brother Milanzi, amen. If you can stand up, and your wife as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So um, he's here this morning with us, and he has just felt that upon his heart that he would like to come over and fellowship with us. Amen. So. Um, Praise God. Brother, we're happy to have you and your family. May the, the good Lord bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. So well, this morning, we once again approaching the word of the Lord. Amen. As we open our Bibles to the book of Matthew. <clears throat> Amen. Our topic this morning is the prophet, his early local ministry. Amen. I'm dwelling on that, especially the part of local. Hallelujah. Local. <clears throat> and uh, I think it's important for, for us to understand uh, the days that he operated and functioned in the local ministry. There's also a lot that goes with that aspect of the prophet's ministry. A lot that we can learn, a lot that we can observe, a lot that we can talk about. And uh, the different experiences that Brother Branham had during this uh, very particular time. So just bear that in mind, local ministry of our prophet. And that means it's taking us way back, uh, way back to the very beginning of his ministry as we have been uh, dealing with in past services. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> so we're going to read here in Matthew chapter 10. Praise God. Maybe uh, let me just uh, change that a little bit. Probably we'll come back to it. Instead, let's go to 2 Samuel. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you put the scriptures in a certain order when you are out there. And then when you come in here, then something is saying something else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I like uh, where Brother Branham says, says that uh, usually a preacher might never really know what he's going to say until he gets into the pulpit because then you start feeling you know a certain way and certain things and so the holy ghost is the one that gives us the bearings he gives us the direction he, he he's the one that launches us into these things amen <clears throat> so we'll read from second samuel uh chapter seven and this is a scripture which brother branham refers to in the message god hidden in simplicity uh, just before he gets into the opening of the seven seals, Brother Branham raises this particular scripture and uh, he's going to associate it with his own life and his own ministry 
And he goes back into more or less the time that, you know, he was in his childhood, his boyhood, and those early days of his life. So he brings in the scripture and incorporates the scripture with, uh, he was going through the dedication of uh, the, the new tabernacle and uh, the expansions that had been done there. So uh, this is one of the scriptures that he uses uh, during this period of time. So this is in 1963, amen, and Brother Branham comes to this particular scripture. So we're going to read that <clears throat> and see then how he applies it into his own life, amen. Uh, we're reading from verse 7, uh, verse 7. Okay, let's start from verse 8. Let's take it from 8 and also 9. Amen. Uh, it goes on to say, Now therefore so shalt thou say unto my servant David, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? God taking the man. Oh my. What a statement. He says, I took thee from the sheep coat. Isn't it wonderful? That God in his plan, in his purpose, knows how to shift you from a certain point to another point. He did that for David. He did that for Brother Branham. And it's possible that he can do that for each one of us. If ever there's anybody who knows better where you belong, it is the almighty God. And there's sometimes you, you may not understand why the shift Amen. But the Lord God knows what he's doing with us. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, I took thee from the sheep coat. Hallelujah. This is something, isn't it? Where was David? At the sheep coat. And what is the sheep coat? That's the sheep fold. That's the sheep pen. That's the place where the sheep are sheltered. What was David doing there? For God to remove him from there. He's a real shepherd, don't you think so? Amen. Praise God. He's right there by the sheepfold. And this is where God is seeing him. He's, he's the God of that place. Amen. He's the keeper of that place. Hallelujah. Amen. And he's a type of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He's a type of the great shepherd. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Who guards you. Who keeps you. Who watches over you. Amen. Hallelujah. He's right there. In fact, he's the door of the sheepfold. Praise God. I took thee from the sheep quote, from following the sheep. Isn't this wonderful? What did David do? Followed the sheep. Hey, hey, Jesus lived 99 and follow that lost one. Oh, my, 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 my. Hallelujah. Following the sheep. Amen. To be what? To be a ruler. Now from a peasant, country boy. Hallelujah. Low life, peasant life. A shepherd, a sheep herder. Hallelujah. From one occupation to another occupation. This time he's being raised to the crown. He's being raised to the throne. Can we say blessed? He's coming to a place of power and authority. A ruler. A man with dominion. From nothing to a somebody. Remember when God made the world, there was nothing. He made something out of nothing. And even Martin Luther said, until we become nothing, God cannot make anything out of you. Yeah. Hallelujah. To be a ruler over my people, over Israel. Notice, David was considered the ruler, not just over Judah. Because remember the divisions that happened. But when God looks at David, he sees him ruler over the entire nation. Whether they liked it or not. <laughs> oh my, verse 9. Praise God. Do you remember Elijah on Carmel? Rebuilding the altar. Repairing the altar. No matter the divisions that were there. But he took 12 stones. Is that right? He took 12 stones. The spirit in Elijah was a spirit of unifying the nation. No matter what was the problem. Hallelujah. That's the same spirit in William Branham. To bring back again that unified body of Jesus in this end time. Oh my. Hallelujah. Verse 9. Take your seat. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So just remember this, the early local ministry of Brother Branham. 
You know what? Uh, I really thank you for your prayers because I think that's doing me a lot of good because I'm not like really reading certain books and certain, uh, which are very good. I know lots of those books are good. They have nice narration. And uh, I, some, many, many years ago, I actually attempted to start a certain series of some of these wonderful books that talk about brothers. But when I got a hold of the first one, I, I, maybe I thought this, there's too many books to read. You know, and I, I just kind of like put it aside. So like, I'm not really like, uh, you might have the impression that maybe I'm, I'm reading some uh, fabulous stories of the prophet. I am, but I'm taking it direct from the prophet himself. I'm just giving my time to just search and pursue and hunt. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Of course, once in a while, you, you know, you also enjoy uh, reading about what others have to say about the prophet and the different commentaries and hallelujah, the different narrations. And we have a lot of those wonderful things. And we really thank God for that. And I actually sometimes give them out to other people so that, you know, it helps them, especially those that really don't know the message. And uh, when I have them, I give them out. And it really helps people to have an idea of what the message is. But uh, for now, uh, that, uh, that hasn't been my direction. Uh, just, just, uh, just, just your prayers which are helping. And uh, just the grace of God that's just taking us. And it's strenuous, but uh, I mean, what else can the minister do? Uh, you, sometimes you have to have that strain. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we come back to verse 9. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, the Lord says to David, I was with you. I was with thee. My, my, my. Hallelujah. So David here begins to realize. He's saying the goodness of God. The Lord has been good. Hallelujah. The Lord has been merciful. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever thou wentest. And you know, like David is saying, oh my. No wonder I killed Goliath. No, no wonder I killed the bear. No wonder I slayed the lion. It's wherever you went. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And have cut off. Hallelujah. Amen. Have cut off. Yeah. In other words, God is saying to David here, not even cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We'll stand before your prayers. Yeah. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Hallelujah. Cut off all thine enemies out of thy sight. My, my, my. Hallelujah. And have made thee. Hallelujah. Who made him? God made him. Hallelujah. You know our God is a wonderful God. God can cause things to happen. No matter what's taking place. No matter what prevails, no matter what is around, no matter what's happening, God can override the circumstances. God can influence. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise be to the living God. The, the, the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of Jehovah can cause things. Praise God. He can make things to happen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's a mighty God that we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. God can get obstacles out of the way. He can make a way for you. Hallelujah. He's a way maker. Praise God. Hallelujah. He says, Amen. And hallelujah. Have made thee a great name. What did he do? All of a sudden, David, that was a little shepherd boy, he becomes famous. My, 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 my. Who makes him famous? Remember the Bible, like even in the ministry of Jesus, his fame was spread abroad. Oh, what made that fame spread was the power of God, the Holy Ghost, the anointing of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. It was not promotion from a certain man or a certain seminary or a certain whatever, but the God of heaven came down and performed signs and wonders and the miraculous, the supernatural. That name became famous over and above many names. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. When God makes you famous, that's the thing. You don't have to make yourself famous. God makes his servants famous. God makes a place famous. Amen. By moving in that place. Look at the Sea of Galilee today. It's not as big as Pacific. It's not as big as Atlantic. It's just an inland sea. 
Hallelujah. But that sea of Galilee today is on the map, praise God, because Jesus ministered upon that water. Hallelujah. It's when God does it. It's when God performs it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Made thee a great name. And Brother Branham reading this scripture says, I would like to apply that scripture to us in this day. He says, he says, I'm applying it. He says, confidentially. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Made thee a great name. Hallelujah. Amen. Like unto the name of the great men. All of a sudden, David is in a certain category of names. Like from nowhere. From an obscure background. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From a hidden life. Hallelujah. From somewhere in the background, all of a sudden, God takes him from the dust and puts him among princes. Look at Joseph in the Old Testament from obscurity. Hallelujah. Look at Daniel. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He says, like unto the name of the great men that are in the earth. This was during his time. Hallelujah. And now we have the prophet here. We have brother Branham here in his time. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, God moves into the man's life. Hallelujah. Finds him from where he is. Raises him from that background. Hallelujah. Praise God and gives him a name. Hallelujah. Like the great men. Until even the men who were great, even kings and monarchs, had to recognize the name of this man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Men that are in the earth, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's just take that quotation there from God hidden in simplicity. Hallelujah. Then revealed in the same. Hallelujah. That's how God operates. The first thing that God does is find someone or find a place where he hides himself. And then when he hides himself there, he starts revealing himself. He starts showing who he is. He starts displaying who he is. But it's in a simple something. Humble. Hallelujah. This is what Brother Branham is talking about in this message. Be humble. Be humble, he says. He says, remember this message. Be humble. Hallelujah. And how God does that. Amen. The prophet of God says, he says, and that same night, hallelujah, this is 63031 uh, 03, It's just before Brother Branham is preparing himself for the opening of the seven seals. Because in this message, he's going to show us how simple God does this. <laughs> that he's going to use just something simple to do this job. Is that right? If you remember the tape standing in the gap, Brother Branham speaks about the time he went west for the blast. Hallelujah. To go connect with the angels and their message. Hallelujah. And then he says, amen, praise God. He said, then God sent me back east to open the seals for him. Oh my. My, 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 my. All that that was happening in 63, seal one, seal two, was on behalf of God. And look what a simple man he used on behalf of God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. No wonder the Holy Ghost was so close. Hallelujah. Until when he was busy studying the opening of the seven seals. He says, I looked into what this one was saying. I looked into what that one was saying. He says, but about midday today, had it not been for the Holy Ghost. He says, I would have done something wrong. Hallelujah. Praise. He says, in the presence of that ball of fire, them revelations coming forth. Oh my God. Hidden in simplicity then revealing himself in the same. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. 
He says, and that same night, hallelujah, he says, showing the consecration of David to the love of God. Hallelujah. Look at David here. Amen. Consecration of David. Oh my, consecration of William Branham. Huh? And God is expecting the same of you today that you're going to de devote your life to him. Consecrate yourself to him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The consecration of David to the love of God. Hallelujah. And then to see the same night knowing that he was in a era that he was not permitted to do it. Because remember, David wanted to build the temple and then God forbade him. I said, you see it after you praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. He says now, hallelujah. God was graceful enough to come down. Hallelujah. And speak to Nathan. And I always like these words. Go tell Nathan, my, or go tell David, my servant, that I took you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In other words, remind him of how good I have been to him. Oh, blessed be. Amen. Can the Holy Ghost remind you today that it was God that time. It was God that time. It was he that time. It was he that time. Amen. He wants you to realize how good he has been to you. Can we say praise the Lord? Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. I took you from the sheep coat. Hallelujah. Just, he wasn't nothing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. David was just insignificant. Hallelujah. Somebody in the background. Hallelujah. He wasn't nothing. Hallelujah. He says, I, I'd like to apply that. <laughs> hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just before he gets into the opening of the seven seals, he gets into the word of God and brings it into our day. Praise God. He gets into that David scripture and brings it into our day. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you realize we have another David? We have another warrior. We have, praise God, not with a sling, but with a gift of prayer to bring Satan down. Hallelujah, hallelujah, no wonder, amen, after just about the time, after the angelic visitation in 1946, uh, hallelujah, his last sermon in the Branham Tabernacle was, who is this uncircumcised Philistine defying the armies of the living God? Amen. Oh my, hallelujah, amen. glory, hallelujah. He says, I'd, li I'd like to apply that here, just a minute. Applying it where? Here. Where? In his pulpit. Right there in the tabernacle. Oh my. Hallelujah. I took you from nothing. <laughs> took you from nothing. Hallelujah. God took the prophet from nothing. He says he's applying it here now. God took you from nothing. And when, when we talk about you being nothing, it's, it's not so much that whether you have money or you don't have money. Hallelujah. It's not so much about even your material because you can be nothing spiritually. In Revelation it says, you are poor, miserable, wretched, naked, spiritual poverty. If you don't have the character of Jesus, you are miserable. You are poor. Hallelujah. No, it's buy from me gold. So he says they didn't have it. Oh my. Can we say praise the Lord? Yes. Amen. Tried in fire. Which is a Christ-like character. So without that character of God in a person, it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how big your house is. It doesn't matter how whatever you are. In the eyes of God, you are nothing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We need God more than anything else. Amen. Otherwise, we are wretched. My, my. I took you from nothing. And I, I, I give you a name. Think of it. God giving a name. What a revelation. Amen. What a topic here. 
God giving you a name. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Listen, brother, sister. Amen. A believer's reputation does not come just from human beings. It must come from God himself. Hallelujah. A good name can only come from God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And the name has got to do with your character. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've got a name like great men. Oh my, 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 my. Hallelujah. That's in the earth. Hallelujah. He says, and I'd like to apply that. Praise the Lord. He gets into 2 Samuel. Hallelujah. Sees that scripture there. Hallelujah. And he sees another David come back. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I'd like to apply that in a, in a confidential. Hallelujah. Confidential yet in a way of making a point. Hallelujah. Take the word, make a point. Take the scripture, make a point. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, I was thinking that a few years ago. Hallelujah. His mind went back. Hallelujah. God is good. The Lord is so wonderful. Can't you think about it? Can't your mind go back? Had it not been for the Lord. Hallelujah. The goodness of God in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't even have one instance of the goodness of God in your life, there's definitely something wrong. Perhaps you just don't realize it. Perhaps you just don't have your eyes opened enough to appreciate, to acknowledge, to be thankful to the Lord. Hallelujah. There's things that you can just flash back in your thinking, in your mind and see the goodness of God. And the prophet says here, he was thinking, hallelujah, that a few years ago, hallelujah, I was standing down in the city here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He says, and nobody cared for me. Back in his boyhood, says, nobody cared for him. Little did he realize at that time that in God's economy, in God's plan, in God's order, amen, one of the... Uh, on coming years, he would emerge as a great man. Oh my. Hallelujah. Nobody cared. Hallelujah. You know, there were times Brother Branham says that during those days, if, if ever someone was talking to him, it's because they hadn't found anyone else to speak with. So he was, he was, he was treated like, like, like some secondhand something, you know, just like if ever they don't, just to while up time. If somebody else came by, he would be ignored. Oh my, what a time, what a life. Nobody cared, but we thank God. There is a loving father. There is a caring father. When nobody cares, God cares. Hallelujah. He's concerned about you. He cares for you. There are times in your life it might seem like nobody wants to talk to you. Nobody wants to associate. Nobody wants to be in your company. Nobody wants to fellowship with you. Amen. And, and everybody looks down upon you. Hallelujah. You, you, you are like an object of, of, of pity. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Because maybe you're not just in that, in that class. You're not in that level. Hallelujah. You're not in that, in that society. Hallelujah. You, you, you are a neglect. You're like an outcast. Hallelujah. But we thank God for this message that shows us you don't have to worry. We thank God for a prophet that demonstrates to us you don't have to worry. 
Amen. We can take courage from this message today. We can take comfort from this message today. We can take consolation. The bride of Jesus Christ doesn't have to worry about a thing. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fret yourself. You don't have to eat up yourself. Amen. See yourself as a misfit somewhere. That doesn't matter, brother. You might not fit. Hallelujah. In the social, hallelujah, aspect of things. But in God's economy, praise be to the living God. Hallelujah. God is aware. I've got a David. I've got a William Branham. I've got a bride. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. God knows. Hallelujah. No wonder we can say, when I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. It is he that saved you. It is he that called you. It is he that ordained you. Even before this world could recognize, he ordained you before the foundation of the world. And the devil cannot break. You are captured. You've got a lease around your neck. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. You've got Oh my, hallelujah, a chip in your heart that the rays of glory can get you wherever you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, nobody loved me. Hallelujah. Praise God. He says, I loved people, but nobody loved me because of the background. Hey Amen. Our backgrounds put us in a spot. Our backgrounds, the history of our lives and families, they put us in a spot. And sometimes it's not even your fault. Hallelujah. But they put you in a spot. Amen. There's all kinds of things that's ravishing human life. Hallelujah. There's broken hearts and there's all kinds of things that, amen, when they think of their, the history of their family, the history of their life, oh, and all these things, and it's so heartbreaking and so heartrending. But we thank God that there's a God who cares for us. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what your place is like in this life, in this world, but there's a God who cares for you. Amen. You might not be a proper fit in this or that or the other, but I want to tell you today, according to 2 Samuel, according to God hidden in simplicity, there's a God who cares for you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No wonder we sing, no, never alone. He promised to keep us. He promised to watch over us. We are never alone. Hallelujah. Praise God. He says, because of the background of the family. Hallelujah. The behavior that was in the family. The conduct that was in the family. The characters that were in the family. Hallelujah. The habits. Until other people said, no, we don't want to have anything to do with this guy. Look at his relations. Look at his background. Look at the history of this family. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do you know that even the Lord Jesus suffered this? This is why one time Jesus said, Blessed are they who are not offended in me. Because Jesus knew there were aspects of his life that could have caused natural controversy. Even look at the way he was born. The circumstances in which he was born. The place he was born. You know, Brother Branham always dramatized that when Mary finally took Jesus to the temple. Right. Hallelujah. For circumcision. He says the other women who had heard the rumors circulate were distancing themselves. That this child was not born in holy wedlock. But it was a rumor that was circulating. And this had caught the people. It had caught the people. It was in the minds of the people. It was in the thoughts of the people. Hallelujah. But little did they know that he was the greater David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was the spiritual royal son of David. Going through exactly the same kind of circumstances. Hallelujah. Until Jesus appears on this earth as a forsaken man. 
Hallelujah. Even the churches and the rabbis, the religious leaders of the day, blighted his name. Oh my. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But to those who love him, love is blind. Hallelujah. They don't see all. Blessed is he who is not offended in the gospel. Praise God. Look at David even in his exile. The time he went out under persecution from Saul. In the time of his exile. He's away from home. He's away from the, from the house of God. He's away from all that, that. But the Bible says in the course of time. Hallelujah. There are some. Hallelujah. That left. Hallelujah. The city. And went out to where David is. No wonder Paul says. Let us therefore go beyond the camp. Bearing his reproach. Hallelujah. Friends. Let's bear the reproach of this message. Praise. Go beyond the camp. Hallelujah. Amen. Wonderful, glorious Jesus. Friends, if we didn't have this gospel, what would have been said of us? What would have become of us if we didn't see this light in the same time? Hallelujah. We were nobodies, but he took us by his grace. Friends, don't leave Christ. This is, this is where the value of your life is. Without him, we are nothing. Hallelujah. The Bible says all those who had credits, they went to David. All those that were in weakness, in distress, with credits, they went to him. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. And when they came to David, David says, what are you guys doing around here? Said we're in problems, but we've come to cast our cares upon you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yeah. Oh, God, help me, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. He says, Now, praise the Lord. Oh, my, the Lord have mercy. Forgive me, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, Nobody loved me because of the background of the family. There were stories in the family. There were situations in the family. Hallelujah. Amen. That made other people abhor them. Look down upon them. And he emerges from that kind of a background. Oh my. Hallelujah. He says, no disregards to my precious mother and father. How I wish that mama could have lived. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Because somewhere in the late 50s, she left him. Hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Late 50s or early 60s, somewhere there. Can't remember the exact date. Hallelujah. But a little while had gone on after his mother departed and he's wishing that, oh my, if she could be here today. Hallelujah. If she could be here today and see how good God was. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, he says, lived to walk into this sanctuary this morning. Hallelujah. He says, many of the old timers who placed their money to help build it here, maybe God this morning will let them look. Hallelujah. Let them look over the banister. Hallelujah. Let them look over the banister and say, hey, look at the tabernacle today. My, 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 my. Look at the church today. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. He says, but the family of Branham. Hallelujah. I'm sure today even us in the bride following this message can associate with this. Hallelujah. But God has been good to you. There are other people in exactly similar situations. They don't even know what to do with their lives. But thank God. Hallelujah. You found a place of refuge. You found a place in this message that gives you calm. That gives you peace. That gives you consolation. That after all, hallelujah, there is an all-seeing eye. Hallelujah. As, as Gabriel said to Daniel, you are beloved in heaven. Praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Branham didn't have a very good name around here. 
go here, hmm, that Branham. You go there, hmm, that Branham. But in the midst of all of this, God could give comfort to his prophet. And say, don't worry, my son. Don't worry, my prophet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will, I, will, I will give you a name change. I, I will do something about this situation. Amen. I'm, I'm going to bring an influence on this name thing. Oh my. I'm going to sort this name thing out. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my. Praise the Lord. Friends, am I in the word? Okay. Am I in the Bible? Am I in the message? Can we say praise the Lord? Amen. Friends, this thing sounds simple. You know, it's like those things you can just read and say, hey, there's Brother Brian talking about his life. But friend, friend, you just haven't got a hang of these things. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, didn't have a very good name. He says, around here on account of drinking. Hallelujah. So the, the background, the history, affects even the offspring. Hallelujah. It affects even the offspring. And people take advantage, amen, of, of, of that, your social position. Hallelujah. Of that neglect and that whatever it is. Hallelujah. People don't appreciate. You get the, those on a higher level, in a higher class, and when, when they look there, they just say, these Branhams. But blessed is he who is not offended. Because that's where the life of God in this end time laid. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. This is why it is important. We parents, let's live right. Let's have a testimony. Let's be an example. That even if your kids stray, it doesn't come back to you. It is an independent problem. Yes, Hallelujah. Because everybody else will say, no, 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 no. They, they even appreciate you that this kid is not walking in the path of his daddy. He's not walking the path of his mama. What's wrong with this boy? We know his parents to be so, 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 so. Where is he getting this from? This is why even Billy Paul, when he went into that casino or whatever it was, and then somebody said, no, don't you know him? Because he was like underage, and he was in a backslidden condition. Don't you know? This is because everyone was saying, no, he must go out. He must leave this place. He can't be here. We can't, he can't hang out with us. And, and, and the owner of the place just stepped in and said, no, no, no. This is Reverend Branham's boy. He says, I'm not Reverend Branham's boy. Because he knew the reputation of the name, praise God. And he, even though he was in that state, but he still respected that name. He says, I won't associate that name with this kind of behavior. So you live right. Do right. As a parent, as a father, as a mother, live right. Walk right. Talk right. Behave right. Be in the right place at the right time. Praise God. Amen. My. Will I ever get to that? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. We have a responsibility. Brother Branham says as a father, a man running away from the presence of the Lord, you have a responsibility to raise those children, right? Hallelujah. If they choose another road, that's not your... Hallelujah. Praise God. He says, now here we are. Where are we at? He says, didn't have a very good name around here on account of drinking. He's talking about your, your habits, your behavior, your conduct. Praise God. Where you hang out. Hallelujah. It will bring reproach. Not only on yourself, but even on the offspring. Hallelujah. And that's a battle to clear that. It will take the power of God. To give you a better name. <laughs> Praise God. He said nobody had nothing. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> what a life. He says I remember telling my wife not long ago. Just remember that I, 
I couldn't get anyone to talk to. Oh, uh, hello, how are you? So even the public was fearing that if I'm seen talking to this guy, you know, he's, he's like a, a social write-off, you know, and a social misfit. So it was like, huh? he was a board. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But God, in the meantime, had a plan for David. He had a future for David. He had a future for Brother Branham. And I know he's got a future for you. It might not even appear now. Hallelujah. You might not be seeing it now. But keep moving. That's the secret. Stay on course. Sooner or later, the horizon will appear. The hills will appear. Hallelujah. The fact that you are not seeing the hills don't mean there's no destination. It's there, but you just can't see it. But keep pressing towards the mark for the prize of the high calling. Don't you feel like we have the word this morning? Don't you feel like God is in the house? Don't you feel something getting next to you? Hey, man, don't you feel that sweetness? And don't you feel that, oh, God, I would rather be here this morning than be anywhere else? Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise, despised and rejected of men. Oh, my. Hallelujah. But out of that, God was cutting a masterpiece. My, my, my. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Says, I couldn't get anyone to talk to me. Nobody cared for me. And now I have to hide. That's how God makes this thing flip the other way around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now he had, to, he had to go to the wilderness. He had to go to the forests. He had to go to the woods. He had to go fishing. He had to go hunting. Just, 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 just to be away. Until even other believers understood that even if he comes to us, like those brothers that were living in the countryside, like the squirrel hunting areas, the brothers that lived there, they knew that when Brother Branham came for, for, for his rest, they never even talked Bible to him unless he introduced it because they knew the reason why he had come was to get away from it. It, it, it worked on him so much that even in his public life, just going along on the street, driving along on the street, hallelujah, just driving in the city or wherever, along the highway, and a car would pass, boom. And then all of a sudden, the prophet turns to this other brother and says, there's problems in that car. But he, he would need to break away from all of this. Get away from all of this. And thank God for those that were spiritual enough to catch this revelation. Hallelujah. And apart from just being out hunting and whatever, squirrel hunting, he says, I would take my writing pad and my ball pen. Who catches squirrels with a writing pad and a ball pen? He says, to be, he says hunting is to be with the Lord. He says that's where it would come like two and two equals four. Two and two equals four. Two and two equals four. He says then, he says I would wait and I would hear to go faster. And two and two equals four. Two and two equals Then he says maybe it explodes into a vision. He says then I write here. Squirrel hunting. Mm -hmm. We thank God for the spiritual squirrels. Food in due season. Oh my. Hallelujah. Friends, you get so full of the things of God. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Hallelujah. I wonder, you know, friends, you know this, I mean, you can just, you can just see, you can just tell that a preacher don't need to, to hit a dry spot when he's preaching. What for? Huh? You don't need to have a dry spell. Huh? Hey man, as a preacher, let me get off of that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. He says, praise God. He says, 
I couldn't get anyone to talk to me. He says, nobody cared for me. And now he says, I have to hide. I have to hide. Hallelujah. Because the load was so much. No preacher, no minister ever had a load of the gospel like this man had. He could come from somewhere, get into the yard. There's sick people all over the yard, all over the grass, on the verandas. <laughs> my, my. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He says, I have to hide to get a little rest. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. He says, and the Lord has given us this great place. Amen. Hallelujah. And he says, and these great things that he's done. Can we say thank you, Lord? Hallelujah. If it wasn't for the Lord, friends, we wouldn't have what we have today. It's just his goodness to us. And he give us, sorry, he give me, uh, he said, beside a bad name, he give me a name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He give me a name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Until even mountains were called after his name. Mountains were named by his name. Until that pillar, that picture there of the pillar of fire hangs in one of the most prominent houses. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. He give me a name like to some of the great men. He says, and he's cut off. Hallelujah. My enemies, wherever I went. Is that right? Remember the Minyak from Portland, Oregon, cut off. Can we say praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Cancers, cut off. Hallelujah. Sicknesses, cut off. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My, my, my. Hallelujah. He cut off my enemies. People come into the meetings trying to, to shame the prophet, expose the prophet. Hallelujah. Trying to break his influence with the people. Come in there and claim certain, certain things. Hallelujah. Certain sicknesses. Stand before the prophet. I've got this. Hallelujah. And the, the prophet, you have nothing. You're not sick. There's no disease. He says, but it's on my card. He says, I don't care what, you, what is written on your card. You don't have this. And then the guy turns around and brags and says, you see, he could not discern me. And then the prophet there is in that discernment realm and he kind of like sobers a bit and he says, what's going on? And he says, I see you. Describes the situation. He says, from now on, you have called this sickness upon yourself. Guy fell down, started begging, please. He says, it's between you and God. Cut off. There's never been nothing. Nothing. Stand before it. Nothing. Nothing. Stand before this ministry. Stand before this prophet. Stand before this commission. Nothing can stand before it. This is a divine commission that God has placed on the face of the earth. Nothing, not even cancer, not even whatever. Praise God. Never be nothing. Stand before it. Wherever it went. But and oh how grateful see when that message came to David through Nathan it was get, to get David to realize to make David appreciate to make David grateful thank you Lord for your goodness and look at the prophet's attitude here how grateful he's seeing the goodness of God throughout his life and ministry Seeing the great blessings of God throughout. 
And he says, how grateful I am for that. He says, and how would I ever know? How would I ever know? As a little ragged kid. You remember even when the days he was in school? The kind of ragged clothes. Hallelujah. Ragged clothes and not even proper decent clothes to wear. Hallelujah. Just ragged, scruffy, tattered. My, my, my. He says up here two or three blocks from here. Hallelujah. To the, in Granville school. When I was the laughing stock. Here he comes with ragged clothes. <laughs> Look at. What a time. What a situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But from those humble, low, mean conditions, the God of heaven picks that man up. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. He was always a target of criticism. Yes. Hallelujah. A target of, of, of scoffing. Yes. Laughing. Yes. A laughing stock. Yes. Hallelujah. He says of the school from being so ragged. He says but how did I know? He says, and skate on an old pond. So whenever he got some time off, he went through a certain place and there was this pond. In the winter, it would freeze ice. And he would come and skate on it. He says, how did I know that beneath that pond? Oh. <laughs> beneath that pond. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How did I ever know that down beneath that pond lay the seed of a lily that could bloom like this, referring to the tabernacle, that could bloom like this. He says, and how did I ever know that no one talking to me. He says, and yet, he would give me a name. See? Where the name had been tarnished. Hallelujah. Disreputed. But God says, I will give you a name. That would be honored amongst people. And even sometime, those early days, as he's just getting into the ministry, even the chief of the police yes. says, Billy, come here. Yes. I want to talk to you. We are here for you. Yes. We'll do what we can to help you. Yes. Start a church for these poor people. Yes. They're like scattered sheep. My, my. God is good, eh? Oh, yeah. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's just move on a little further into that local aspect. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, sometimes, you know, let's take a lesson from the prophet's life. Amen. Let's learn from his approach to matters. Whether it was the ministry and whether it was whatever. His approach is very important. Because we can help. We can get help from that. We can get comfort. We can get consolation. If God can help you to grasp and see how he was taking his prophet through these times. Hallelujah. It really does something to you. It really does something to you. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Amen. That there's, there's low levels. Hallelujah. There's low levels. Low beginnings. Humble beginnings. Hallelujah. Small beginnings. Things are small. Like from nothing. But we'll go somewhere. Hallelujah. 
And during those days of nothing, you could be a target for whatever. That doesn't matter. It should never deter you. You should stay focused. Hallelujah. On the master. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. People can remark. People can comment. People can say. Hallelujah. It can even be at your job, at your work, wherever. Don't listen to people. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't let that dishearten you, discourage you. Hallelujah. Have faith in the God who called you. Hallelujah. Believe in the Christ who saved you. You say, Jesus, you are the one that's going to take me through. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what it is that you must pass through, briars and patches and whatever it is, thorns and thistles. Amen. But God is faithful. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch the prophet. Amen. For he shall be a sign unto you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just see how God is coming down and manifesting. Hallelujah. Bringing him, amen, from that background and bringing him from those early years and that humble uh, 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 life and humble beginning. Hallelujah. Little beginning, small, amen. And the Bible says, who has despised the day of little things? And it is as God in simplicity. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Those little beginnings. Don't despise it. Don't despise it. Someone goes, ah, how can you? <laughs> look at me. Hey, don't look at him. Look at Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. That one has his portion. You have your portion. Walk where God wants you to walk. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't have to be a somebody else, but be yourself. Amen. God will deal with you as an individual. Not two, three, four, five, whatever. As an, it's you yourself. You and Jesus, room for two on the Jericho Road. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So no matter how little, how small. Remember, small things can end up being big things. Little things can end up being big things. Hallelujah. Right now we are told that, that the rivers and, and lakes and dams, uh, levels are rising. But what's causing that rising is small drops. Pada, 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 and then it starts spreading, spreading, rising, rising, and all of a sudden you have 70%, 80%, 90%. Pray, but where is it coming from? Oh, I see the cloud like a man's hand. Sooner or later, the entire sky becomes blackened. Praise God. Yes, sir. Don't despise your day of little things. Don't despise little beginnings and humble beginnings. Amen. Stay with that. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There he was to begin with just a local pastor, local minister, local preacher. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. It all starts in that local. Praise the Lord. Amen. God help us. God help us. God help us. Amen. Let me see if I can take you somewhere here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's go to as I was with Moses. As I was with Moses. So will I be with thee. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet says on paragraph 208. He says, now I am not a healer, but I have a gift of healing. Praise the Lord. That was witnessed. Can we say amen? amen. Can we say amen? amen? What was done? The gift was witnessed. Yes. Hallelujah. Until, until we have today men and women who probably are still living, who can testify of this gift, who were there when this gift worked. There are people who saw it and people who are talking about it. Hallelujah. It's not just a claim. Hallelujah, not just an ambition. He says it was witnessed. They are testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says it's been proved that is the truth. This gift is not a fake gift. There is proof, there is evidence. Until even in some cases, after they, they were declared healed by the prophet, some of them would go back to the doctor who used to treat them. And the doctor, doctor would diagnose and say, I don't see even a trace 
What was that? Proving that this gift is genuine. Evidence. Evidence. Proof. A pillar of fire hanging over us. Scientifically proven. Hallelujah. It's been proved that uh, the truth, see, way back, long time ago. <laughs> he says, I remember. He says, I used to go out at the hospital here. Hallelujah. When I was just a local Baptist preacher, Preacher, minister, pastor, whichever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He says, when I was just a local Baptist preacher here. He says, locally. Locally. Those were the early days. When he was just beginning. Just starting. Those early years. And let me say this, just in passing. Those were the same years that nearly Sanders says she staggered into one of the meetings. It was a tent meeting. It was way back then. Shh. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Hallelujah. He says, I'd go out at the hospital. He says, there used to be an old nurse out there. Amen. She lived down in Howard Park. I don't know whether she's still there or not. He says, at the hospital. She used to say to the patient. So when the prophet came into the hospital and the sick people there, the patients there, she would say to them, hallelujah. She used to say to the patient, now you're going to get well. <laughs> Soon as Billy walks into the hospital, now you're going to get well. Hallelujah. Now you're going to get well. Uh, say, uh, says that little Baptist preachers coming to pray for you. Oh my, my, my. See, he says it was just, it was, uh, it, it was beginning. Even be, before the official commission. It, that was the way it was. He says someone, he says they got healed. So I don't know how they got, but they got healed. He says, and now it was going to scatter. So from 46, <laughs> amen, from local to international. Come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't sleep, don't daydream. God is lifting up David. God is raising David from local to international. Hallelujah, from local to worldwide. 1946, down comes the angel and says, your peculiar birth, your misunderstood life is an, has been an indication. You were born for a purpose. You will take a gift of healing to the peoples of not just Jeffersonville, but the people of the world. And hallelujah, after 1946, visited the, how the angel came and his commission. He says he started going from one state into another state, beginning with Arkansas. Hallelujah, Reverend Dowitry's uh, daughter. Praise God, hallelujah. And from Arkansas, Jonesboro. And from state to state to state to state, coast to coast. All of a sudden, he's in an aeroplane. Praise God. God is putting David in the sky. God is raising David. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And now it was going to scatter. All over. Hallelujah. Friends, the God of this prophet, the God of this message is the God of the Bible. In Matthew chapter 10, when Jesus addresses the 12 apostles, he says, he says, go to the lost sheep. You mean when Jesus came, they were lost sheep? Yeah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Adam, Adam, where art thou? Now the second Adam comes to seek the fallen. He says, the lost sheep. 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 <laughs> Not the found ones, but the lost ones. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, the lost sheep. I think Paul speaking to the Romans in chapter 15. He says, I have not built on anyone's foundation. Why? The lost sheep. He says, where Jesus was never spoken. Hallelujah. But where Jesus was spoken, Paul avoided and says, praise God for that. Can somebody hear me? Uh, not me. Hear the Bible. Praise God. If, if, if you feel like you want to work for the Lord, you have better credit on a lost sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Anyway, hallelujah. He says, he says, don't go the way of the Samaritans and the way of the Gentiles. Now, in the verses before that, he says, I give you power. But why would he limit that power to a certain side? God has got a time for each and every one. He's got a season for each and every one. How would Jesus go? He says, go preach. Go heal, but don't heal over there. The one who calls is the one who must control the commission. He controls the power. He controls his function. He controls his operation. Yes. So for a moment, Jesus localizes them. He says, but only to the house of Israel. Yes. Says, these Samaritans, this is, is for another day. Oh my. But as we move on with, amen, Matthew 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Matthew 20, 20, 27, 28. Go ye therefore into all from local to international. This message is Bible, I'm telling you. This message is Bible. If you didn't know that, I'm telling you today. You can hardly walk across this message and not just see scripture being fulfilled. Scripture being relived. Scripture coming back again. Hallelujah. No wonder the prophet says the Bible, hallelujah, is becoming alive again in this end time. Glory. Hallelujah. He says from local here around the world. And guess how many times? Seven times. Do we expect the walls of Jericho to fall? Yes, we do. Do we expect to see the fulfillment of the promises? Yes, we do. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise Shh, my, hallelujah. Friends, God bless you. Let's stand off it. Amen. Amen. Let's bow our head. If I was to revisit some of the points that has been raised this morning by the Holy Spirit, perhaps you may have been relating with something. And you just say, Lord, I love you. Help me. Give me comfort. All my life, you have been faithful and all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able I will see of the goodness of God
All my life, all my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath, I am able. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Let's just raise our voices one more time. All my life, oh, all my life. You have been faith. How many can relate with that today? Lord, you were faithful to David. You were faithful to William Branham. Hallelujah. You are faithful to your church. You are faithful to your bride today. That I am able. Let's just worship him now. I will see of the goodness of God all my life and all my life you have been faithful oh glory to God worship him and all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I Let's worship Him, Amen. Oh, and all my life you have, Father, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness in David. Thank you for your goodness in William Branham. Thank you for your goodness in your children today, Lord. Oh, we can relate. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. We praise your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm gonna see goodness. Let's take one verse. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. And all my days I've been held in your Running after me, 
your goodness is running after, is running after me. Oh, with my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your good is running after, is running after me. All oh, my So, so good With every breath that I am able I will see all the goodness of God Hallelujah Glory Through the life of David Through the life of William Branham through the life of the apostles, we can see that God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. We can depend upon that because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mercy and goodness will follow us all the days of our life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Don't you just feel like just talking to him? Just telling him how important he is in your life. Without him, you are nothing. You are just a clod of dust. Just mark. Forget not his benefits. Count your blessings. Surprise you what the Lord has done. Instead of murmuring and complaining and this and that. Just, 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 just flash back a little bit. And see the progress of God in your life. See the advancement of His grace in your life. I would have wanted to give you the parable of the mustard seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How God could take that prophet from a local gospel preacher to an international, worldwide bring a revival all over the world and get the church ready for the second coming of Christ what an honor was given to this man hallelujah hallelujah sister just thank him just before we close out just before we dismiss Brother, I just want you to thank him. Don't stand sulking, sit back sulking and comparing yourself with somebody else. Just appreciate him for what he's done and even for what he will do, what he's doing. Just keep giving him the praise this afternoon and say, I love you, Lord. Your mercy has never failed me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your love for us. Thank you, Lord, for being so good to us. We see your goodness in the life of David. Hallelujah. We see your goodness in the life of the apostles. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, from just local to international, from Jerusalem to Judea to the uttermost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a progress of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That mustard seed which the Bible says grew. Hallelujah. Into one of the greatest trees. Where birds can lodge. Birds can refresh. And that's the way we feel about Brother Branham's ministry. It has grown into a tree that we can refresh ourselves. We can fellowship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise your name, Father. We thank you, Lord. We haven't come here for naught. We haven't come here for nothing. You've come for this message, Lord. It means so much to us. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Lord, enlightening us. Hallelujah. Revealing the ministry to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. 
we thank you today. And Lord, how we, we draw courage from this. We draw consolation from this. This message is an oasis to us, Lord. So what would we do without this message, Father? What would we do without this prophet? What would have Israel done without Moses? Where would they have gone without Joshua? What would the New Testament church have done without Paul? Who brought the whole counsel of God? What would we have done without a prophet? Without this message? We thank you. Every time, Lord, we are cast down, we are discouraged. We thank you that we have a, a place of reference. This message, Lord, is a place of reference for us. We can come back. We can meditate on it. We can ponder over these things. Lord, we just feel that consolation of God. Hallelujah. I pray you'll bless my brothers and my sisters, Lord, with whom I sojourn in this hour. I pray that the grace of God the love of God will be so real to them. Lord, let this message not just be like a slogan or like something that, but Lord, may it be life to them. May it not just be religion, just formality. As much as we appreciate all that. May it not just be a knowledge of teaching, a knowledge of doctrine, but may we have the person of that teaching. May we have the person of that doctrine. May we have the owner of this religion. Give us that mainspring that will make all other devices tick. I pray if there's anyone here, just for a minute now, anyone here that doesn't know the Lord, You've never received Jesus into your heart. I'm not talking about knowing the Bible, knowing the teaching, knowing the doctrine. I'm talking about receiving his person into your life. That will then take effect on that knowledge. Will make that knowledge work. You have to have him in you. Paul says, let him dwell in you richly. This Christ has got to abound in your life. If you haven't done that, I urge you, I urge you. We are living in the end time. The seas are roaring, waves roaring on the west coast, different places, different countries, storms, some unprecedented, like on the west coast. 90% of California is under flash floods. And Brother Branham talked about this. Jesus talked about this. Sea roaring. Waves as high as 10 to 20 feet high. Sweeping inland. These are buzzers. These are alarms of what God is fixing to do on a greater scale. He says these are buzzers to alarm our hearts and get us ready for the coming of the Lord. The prophet says, Sea is roaring. It says tidal waves. Great storms. I'm quoting. Hallelujah. We are living in that hour. Church, it's time for us to get ready. Let's lay aside all the nonsense, all the foolishness and everything else. Don't listen to the things of the world. The devil wants to cheat you. Don't listen to the behavior of the world. The life in the world there. Like Sister Rosella said, it leaves a mark on you. In her case, when she was getting rid of the makeup from her face, getting rid from the, 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 the cosmetics, her skin was affected by those cosmetic chemicals. She now had like wrinkles. He says, my face is so rough. He says, but look at the hope. Look at Hope's face. So innocent, so tender. Says because she's been out of these things. You know what? Young ladies, 
those who are in the world who are doing all these kind of things if you don't know they actually admire you how you can stay home not be out there go to church it's just that the devil won't let them come but they actually admire you don't sell your birthright they may never tell you but deep down inside they say the life this young lady is living she might seem like out of tune with everybody else but we admire that friends if you play with the world and hang out with the world it leaves a mark on you in Rosella's case it was a mark left by cosmetics because she had to remove the makeup and everything else it left the face the skin because when you put all that stuff on the face it blocks your pores it does all kinds of things even medical science tells that it's not healthy but it's a commercial thing it's a money thing and yet it has got terrible side effects it leaves a mark on Rosella cosmetics left a mark now it might not only be cosmetics it could be other behavior misconduct promiscuity it will leave a mark some of these marks are difficult to reverse leave the world alone you'll just some of these marks you live a life to regret until the grave sets you free but don't wait for the grave to set you free from these circumstances allow the holy ghost now allow the holy spirit Hallelujah. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name. Our Father hear us from heaven forgive our sins we pray our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be in thy name. Our Father, oh God, hear us from heaven. Forgive if you are here this afternoon, you feel, Lord, forgive my sins, Lord, forgive my wrongs. Hallelujah, just wash me in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah, just raise up your hand. Lift up your hand and say, Lord, come into my life. Come into my heart. I want you to be there for me, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you to undertake for me. I want you to fight my battles, Lord. Be there for me, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Be my friend. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Be my comforter, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Lord, forgive my sins. Forgive my trespass. Holy is. Just raise up your hand. Hallelujah. As we pray together. Holy is the Just keep your hand raised up. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, how thankful we are to be under this message. Lord, the enlightenment, the realization, the illumination, as the Apostle Paul says to the Corinthians, the God who shined light in the darkness has shined the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus into your hearts. Lord, darkness is being scattered from us. A new creation is coming forth in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. The comfort, Lord, from this message. The consolation from this message. Thank you for sending a prophet, Lord. Thank you. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, the more we talk about this message, the closer we get to God. Because there's nothing else that we know that can bring a man or a woman closer to God than the message of this day. That makes us to know more than we have ever known. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Lord. I bring, Lord, each and every one that has raised their hands to you today. Lord, they need your mercy. They need your grace. I pray in the name of Jesus that whatever forces of darkness, powers of the devil, demon spirits, chains of captivity, bondage, hallelujah, living in exile from the promises of God, Satan, you leave the children of God alone. They want to come home to God. They want to come home to Jesus. They open their hearts to receive Christ. To receive the very person of our religion. The very person of our doctrine. The very person of our teaching. To enter a relationship with the very person of our teaching. Not just to know what he said or what he taught. But to have a personal relationship. I pray that Lord you will grant it to them. Be a personal savior to them. Something they can experience for themselves. In their hearts. An experimental experience that God gives a man in his heart. Grant it my God in the name of Jesus. Lord do something for your children. Do something for my brothers and my sisters. May something wonderful happen today. Something glorious in the hearts of these men and women, boys and girls. Lord, that Lord, sweet peace coming down in the soul. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, give them that freedom, that deliverance, that salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Hear us as we pray. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be in thy just worship him now. May God bless you. You that have opened your hearts to Christ. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Can we just give the Lord a hand of praise? Give the Lord a hand of applause and say thank you, Lord. Oh, glory, glory. Can we all say thank you, Jesus? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen, 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 amen. We got something to shout about. We got something, hallelujah, to praise God about. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Who are in heaven? Hallowed be in thy name. Though we are few, hallelujah, though we are few, though oh, oh, we are surrounded by men. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, thank you, Jesus! This is the song.
Praise you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. Somebody give a shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We're grateful, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, you are so wonderful, Lord. Oh, God. What would we do without you, Lord? What would we do without this message, Lord? Hallelujah, Lord. This is our only hope, oh, God. It's such a dark time, oh, God. Hallelujah. We praise your name, Jesus. Thank you for being our anchor, Lord. Thank you for being our typos. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 May the Lord's face shine upon each and every one of you. Hallelujah. With our heads bowed, our eyes closed. Brother Freddy. Brother Frank, come close us in a word of prayer. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, eternal God, Father God, we can still feel the pulsating of the Holy Ghost. For Lord, even as Sister Betty Wright once said, there is nothing but the truth what the prophet had said. Yeah. Father God, our pastor here, Lord, Lord, how he toils, oh Father. Father God, it's nothing new that he's preached or tried to show us, oh Father. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Lord, it's all what has been said by Malachi 4. Amen. Lord, he's even raised our faith to higher heights, oh Father. Father God, we ask you, Father, to increase our faith, O oh Lord. Lord, with the series, Lord, of the prophet. Lord, to us, it's not a mystery, O oh Father. For Lord, you're just repeating what has been done before. Lord, the life of John the Baptist being a Baptist. Brother Brandon being a Baptist. Lord, John the Baptist at the, at the river, Lord. The prophet, Lord, at the river Ohio, O oh Father and the similarities, O oh Father. And Father God, the prophet's local life, O oh Father. Lord, it's just God, God, God everywhere, O oh Father. And Father God, we just thank you for that, O oh Father. Father God, I pray, Lord, for everyone in divine presence, O oh Father. Let us not th let this chance slip away, O oh Father. For Lord, we know that the devil is a liar, O oh Father. Trying to deceive the very elect, O oh Father. But Father God, we know, O oh Lord, you said that the very elect will never be deceived, Amen. O Father. Amen. Father God, we pray for your strength. For Lord, we see time ticking, minute by minute, hour by hour, O Father. But events have been made clear by prophecy, O Father. Amen. We pray for your strength, O God. Amen. The Holy Ghost to come down upon us, O Father. Amen. Give us that strength, O Father, that you promised, O Father. Amen. Father, the sheep wave that you waved before us. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus, Amen. Lord, when the prophet said and he preached, I was glad when they said unto us, from David, O oh Father, Amen. let us go to the house of the Lord, O oh Father. Thank we you. see, Lord, the prophet's life, majority of the time he was behind the pulpit, O oh Father. And Lord, he preached and loved what he preached, O oh Father. Father God, let us be the same, O oh Father. Follow that inspiration, O oh God. Father God, to be led by the Spirit of God. Father God, we pray once again, restore the virtue that's gone off out of our past, O oh Father. We see him toiling so much, O oh Father, and God, restore it unto him, O oh Father. And be with us, Lord, even as we depart, O oh Father. Bless each and every one of your children, O oh God. 
Father God, that Lord, we pray one for another. And Lord, we love you, O oh God. Thou the Alpha and Omega, O oh Father, the beginning and end. And Father God, you've shown it to us time and time again, O oh Father. Lord, even as we submit ourselves to you, O oh God, we love you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord bless you. We meet again next Sunday morning. God be with each and every one of you. Amen.